Hello TD Superheroes, my name is Alejandro Perez and I am your sidekick. In this video we're going to be continuing on with a series of videos where we are working on creating a face rig. Right now we have the section where we can... Oh, I did make a change in between lessons so... I exported my OBJs again and it doesn't have an underscore on it so if you comment this out if you don't have to remove the underscores like I did and I import it this is the stage that we should be at where we have the blend shapes coming in but we don't have any blend shapes on the original mesh just to make sure of that let's delete all by type history because I've been experimenting between videos. But I have all of my geometry in here. And in this video, we're going to make sure that they are added into blend shapes for this object. So to start off with, let's create a blend shape node. It's going to be, let's call this blends. And it's going to be equal to Actually, we don't need a variable for that. Let's call let's call the command mc dot blend shape, and I want to set it on the CC base body. So let me just copy this. Okay, and then now we need to assign a name to that blend shape. So let's call it facial blend shapes. Let's double quote. Let's make that a single quote. And then close parentheses. So right now at this stage, if we run this, we'll get all the geometry back into the scene. And we will have a blend shape node here. That is completely empty of blend shapes, but it has the blend shapes that we can start adding into it. Okay, and then let's go into the if statement. And in this if statement, this is where we're going to start adding the blend shapes. So we're going to say mc dot blend shape. And then we're going to call the name of the blend shape, which is going to be this right here. And we need that inside of single quotes. So that way it knows which blend shape to modify. We're going to say that we're going to say edit equals true. And we are going to set a target. And it has a few arguments that we need. First, we need to tell it what geometry it's going to be coming from. So it's going to be coming from this target geometry then we need to know which index number for the blend shape it's going to be creating it where you want to place it so it goes like zero one two three four as it goes down so as we bring them in we can put them in order so what i like to do is just create a index equals zero and then make it equal to the index number and then afterwards on the next line let's jump ahead and do that before we finish this line of code we would say index equals index plus one okay so now that we have the index number working so that way we don't have overlapping index numbers we can go ahead and say obj name since we have the name here that's going to be the actual name of the geometry so we have obj name and then the last number is the range so we're going to set it to a range of one and then we can close the bracket and close parentheses and let's clear this scene here and edit delete all by type history 
So that way, when we look at this here in the history, we don't have any blend shapes. And then let's run this. Error positional argument follows keyword argument. Oh, I need to put equals right here because it is a flag. So we need to make it the name of the flag equals to something. So let's check that there. OBJ name not found. And that's because it has a capital N. Okay. Let's edit the all by type history. And then let's run this. So it's bringing in all the blend shapes. Then we can double check the face rig right here. And we can see we have all the blend shapes assigned. And we should have the ability to control them one by one here. That's great. So this is what the script looks like for us. Let's make this a little bit bigger so you guys can see it clearly. That's what the script ended up. Like I said, I commented this out because I had underscores before the name and I didn't want to have that. So if we remove this now, we should be fine for this updated version. Now we have all of the scripts working to attach it to the blend shape. And then we're going to work in future videos on creating a interface to control all of these blend shapes. And then we're also going to create a skeletal structure to be able to open and close his mouth and maybe wiggle his ears. All right. That is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you guys in the next one.